Hello and uh, welcome to a brand new episode of uh, Today's Youth. My name is Ahmed Nader and uh, tonight we'll be focusing on uh, a group project uh, by the students from uh, the Faculty of Arts at Ain Shams University and more specifically in uh, the Media Science and the Mass Communication Department uh, focusing on the Egyptian Space Agency on the initiative of uh, the asteroid of Egypt uh, with the name of al -Rihla. Or the journey. We will be having more information about this uh, group project uh, through the graduates now. Yahya Ahmed and uh, Maryam Ismail, thank, thank you very you much for being with us uh, tonight. Uh, Maryam, uh, first of all, how did you come up with the name Al Rihla? Me and my team decided to think about a name that will be uh, a story behind what we do in every step. Yes. So uh, we felt uh, that the uh, Rehla is like the journey that we will go through uh, in the space agency. سمعت قبل كده عن وكالة الفضاء المصرية وكالة الفضاء المصرية ظهرت على أرض الواقع سنة 2018 بهدف نقل علوم الفضاء وتوطينها وامتلاك القدرات الذاتية لبناء الأقمار الصناعية وإطلاقها من الأراضي المصرية. لو أنت مهتم بعلوم الفضاء فأكيد سمعت عن مكتب التايكو. ولو ما سمعتش إحنا هنقول لك التايكو هو مكتب دعم الابتكار ونقل وتسويق التكنولوجيا وهو نتاج التعاون بين أكاديمية البحث العلمي ووكالة الفضاء المصرية اللي تم في 5 فبراير 2020 مكتب التايكو بيتكون من ثلاث مكاتب رئيسية واحد مكتب نقل التكنولوجيا تي تي او وهو مسؤول عن دعم المشاريع البحثية اللي بتجيله وبيدعمها ماديا ويحول الفكرة لمنتج تسويقي اثنين مكتب المنح والتعاون الدولي جايكو وهو مسؤول عن توفير المنح للمشاريع البحثية اللي بيدعمها مكتب نقل التكنولوجيا ودعم الابتكار ثلاثة مكتب براءة الاختراع والملكية الفكرية تسعك وهو مسؤول عن حماية الملكية الفكرية بمساعدة الجهة المختصة وإنجازات مكتب التايكو ما اقتصرتش بس على الإنجازات العلمية في كمان إنجازات ترفيهية ومنها مسلسل حلم الفضاء وهو مسلسل رسوم متحركة بيبسط علوم الفضاء وبيقدمها بطرق شيقة بيستهدف الأطفال من عمر 8 إلى 16 سنة في 16 فبراير 2020 وفي مركز إعداد القادة شارك مكتب التايكو في الاحتفال المميز بيوم الفضاء المصري من خلال عرض أهم الأفكار البحثية المطروحة اللي بتخدم أهداف الوكالة وبتتفق مع خطة مصر الفضائية في السنين اللي جاية وضم الاحتفال معرض بيه منتجات خاصة بالوكالة ومنتجات تانية خاصة بطلبة الجامعة بالإضافة إلى ورش عمل استهدفت محب الفضاء من مراحل عمرية مختلفة وده غير مشاركة مكتب التايكو في معرض القاهرة الدولي للكتاب من خلال عرض كتب عن الفلك وعلوم الفضاء وكتب تلوين للأطفال قدر مكتب التايكو أن يستمر فترة الحظر من خلال عمل مسابقات أونلاين مختلفة زي مثلا مسابقة علوم الفضاء ولو أنت من ضمن طلاب المدارس أو الجامعات تقدر تقدم في معسكر الفضاء الصيفي من خلال صفحتهم على فيسبوك وتستفاد من الورش المختلفة قدرت وكالة الفضاء المصرية أنها تخترق عالم الفضاء وتحقق إنجازات كتيرة في مدة قليلة من خلال برنامج الفضاء الوطني اللي بيتم تنفيذه بالتوازي مع خطة مصر للتنمية المستدامة 2030 ولسه الرحلة ما انتهتش this means that you had to gather information about the space agency of Egypt because uh, I think it is relatively new uh, yes, at the new administrative capital. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't really know uh. about uh, uh, um, specific uh, space uh, technologies. Yeah. So when we went uh, there, uh, it was really uh, helpful of them giving us uh, several workshops about uh, space and uh, uh, new technologies and uh, the recent innovations. So it was uh, really helpful of them. Uh, we knew about uh, space um, recent uh, projects and how satellites can work and how they uh, launch uh, these satellites. Mm. So it helped us a lot in doing this mm. uh, program. But we recently had uh, a satellite that was launched into space, yes, uh, the 9Sat, once again. So yeah. uh, what information did you gather about that? We went to the space ag agency and they showed us the place that uh, uh, Nilesat will go through the space. Mm. We were very amazed and uh, we, were, we were proud that this will happen here in Egypt mm. in a very professional way. So it was like they took us a tour into every lab there and every uh, project they did, they talked about it. Uh, we were very proud and 
We are proud that we were in this. We are part of this. Yahya and Maryam will be taking a quick break and will be returning once again to you on today's youth. So stay tuned. Welcome back. You're still watching uh, today's youth with uh, Yahya Ahmed and uh, Maryam Ismail. Uh, Maryam, of course, uh, we spoke about uh, al rihla the journey, how it started with uh, the Egyptian Space Agency. What is the purpose of uh, naming it uh, al rihla So, what were the main information for you that were beneficial for your career after graduation? The main benefits I took is to work with a team. Every one of, each one of them are very, um, they want to do the best, they want to work as much as they can. Uh, every one of them has a, cer a certain hobby that uh, benefits the project. Mm. This is the first benefit I took. Uh, the second thing is I learned how to market for a project. Mm. And this is the main aim for the project. Yeah, true. So what was your role, Yahya? Yeah, my role was uh, also about marketing uh, and social media for the proje project. Uh, also, uh, the uh, information gathering, and uh, uh, so we can uh, publish and uh, publish the project in the full form after uh, Yusuf Arm doing the motion graphics uh, for the project. So you gathered information for about two weeks or a month about the space agency or yeah. a certain project within the space agency of Egypt? Uh, as the, the Egyptian Space Agency and mm. specifically the Taiko office uh, in the, the Egyptian Taiko Space office. So uh, uh, Agency. So the main aim for the project was to make people know about the Egyptian yeah. Space Agency? Exactly. How did that go? Yani, uh, how did you publish on social media? Did you uh, focus on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube? What did you focus yeah. on? It was mainly on Facebook platform. Mm. Uh, we did publish a lot of posts um, involving uh, the Egyptian Space Agency and the Taiko office. Also the, the space information, general information about space, we didn't actually know about, but mm. we started gathering information and to start doing daily posts about uh, the space and uh, the Egyptian uh, Space Agency and activities of the Egyptian Space Agency and making people aware of that we have uh, an agency related, agency. yes, exactly. Yes. So, so what is the Taiko office? The Taiko office is a place that, uh, that collects like three offices. Mm. It targets the children to know, about, to, mo to know more about space. Yes, in uh, Egypt. Yeah, true. Mm. Uh, they do events, uh, stories, um, and uh, series for, for, for children. Mm. Uh, that's it. Yahya, uh, you seem passionate about films and movies and space and all of that. So what were your main hobbies that led you to come up with an idea uh, of 10 or 12 students or graduates now from the faculty that we should be speaking and we should be um, telling the story of space and Egypt's experience in this field? Yeah, it's more like uh, when I was young. I didn't really have uh, anything uh, related to uh, uh, the love of uh, space science or anything like that but yes. uh, um, since I was a kid I really loved uh, the space idea looking at the sky and seeing the uh, all these uh, stars and planets and stuff like that mm. I've been always passionate about it mm. uh, I, I, I have a lot of hobbies aside but it's not really related uh, mm. about space but, and you never thought about space growing up no, I thought about it a lot and I used to watch uh, like National Geographic and, mm. and so on. Uh, but when I grew up, I don't have enough information about it. Mm. That's why I feel like 
uh, this uh, initiative was very helpful for me to mm. know more about it. You say that you're passionate about marketing. What led you to go to this field? Uh, since I was a kid, I decided to work as a marketeer. Mm. I, I, love the, I love the idea of spreading something that was never known before. Mm. In, very, uh, in, in a lot of strategies. Mm. So uh, this was the, the main goal for me. So what was the strategy behind selling the idea of space in Egypt? Uh, we used uh, the strategy of um, showing, we target the children. Mm. So we used to spread this idea by a motion video, not, uh, not like a real video and mm. uh, more... Um, Is it like a cartoon? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yes. Space Dream cartoon series in mm. Ramadan 2021. Yes. Yeah. It was broadcasted in, uh, broadcasted in several TV channels. Mm. It was uh, targeting um, children from 12 to 18 years old, uh, mainly uh, about uh, a competition, about uh, uh, the winner of this competition. He is going to be the first astronaut, uh, first kid astronaut to go mm. to Mars. Mm. So it was really uh, amazing and children will be influenced a lot about it. I think it succeeded in reaching yes, children yes, exactly. and having an emphasis on them. Yes, exactly. In also uh, making uh, kids think more about space and knowing more about their country, their world, uh, know more about uh, the mm. things, uh, the environment. Yes. Mm. Uh, on the other hand, Mariam, uh, what are your other hobbies? Like, uh, I spoke with uh, Yahya, he likes films, he likes um, uh, chess, I yes. think, yes. You know, <laughs> going to the gym. So he has hobbies. What are your hobbies? My hobbies was uh, still yani, reading mm. and writing. Uh, th this was my ultimate uh, hobby. Uh, I have been reading since I was like, uh, um, since school, yani, mm. like, until now, I love reading uh, about everything, especially psychology and uh, marketing. Yeah, on the other hand, you like video gaming. Yes, uh, video games and esports. Uh, esports. So, how did that uh, affect you, positively and negatively? Because we always say that uh, it affects you negatively as a teenager yeah. or uh, as maybe a young man. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so basically, uh, everything has uh, its uh, advantages and disadvantages. Mm. So uh, most of people will go, uh, are going to say, uh, no, uh, video games is harmful, video games have uh, negatives, uh, all of these uh, words. But uh, uh, in, other, in other side, uh, they have a lot of positives. Um, and our upcoming, new upcoming generations will have more uh, knowledge and more uh, skills about uh, these mm. uh, kind of sports. Uh, and its uh, advantages, which is uh, like um, um, improving your uh, uh, team working and creativity and imagination, mm. also your... Uh, Can it improve team working online? Yes, when you're, you're you're playing playing online with your friends. You're playing within a team. Online. Yes, exactly. When you're uh -huh. pra playing with uh, a lot of people online, mm. it can improve your uh, team working and creativity. But it usually includes violence, for example. Uh, yeah, but... If uh, you're working on a team because you're not playing football. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh. exactly. Uh, this uh, may be the disadvantages of uh, some kind of games, but mm. uh, uh, there, of course, will be some uh, or a lot of positives in these kind of uh, sports. Mm. Uh, maybe improving your decision making because it's only a split second of doing uh, a decision mm. uh, or the other. It can affect uh, the, the environment of the game. Mm. Uh, and uh, we, as we see uh, recently, uh, um, uh, Dr. Ashraf Subhi, the Minister of uh, Youth and Sports, uh, he's paying attention to esports recently and the teams of uh, video games and <coughs> esports, uh, for example, Occupy Esports and Rad Esports, all of these organizations mm. are paying attention to this uh, kind of sports recently. Mm. On the other hand, you like chess. Yes. How did that affect your personality? Because uh, I think it would make you wiser and more patient. Yeah, it's uh, oh. called uh, uh, the game of kings because uh, <laughs> basically chess uh, helps you to use your mind more, oh. uh, how to manage your time, how to uh, being uh, creative about uh, everything, having an aspect about every move you are going to make mm -hmm. in the game. Mm. So that's why I like chess. I don't really like uh, the other board games, maybe it depends on luck. Mm. Uh, that's my... 
Yes, exactly. That's chest why I love chess. Depends on, on, on yeah. a plan. Hundred percent on your mind, yeah. on the uh, skills of thinking. Mm. That's why I really love uh, this mm. game. Uh, Maryam, throughout um, four years, yeah. uh, before graduating, uh, during college, uh, you had activities as well um, in the summer. True. Uh, you had in the first summer, in the second summer, in the third summer there was the COVID-19 outbreak, but you yes. also had a project. Yes, so true. tell me more about the three years okay. between uh, your academic uh, In years. my first year, mm. uh, I decided to work. I entered the college and I told them that I need to work. So, so you're 18 or 19? Yeah, right? I no. was 19. Yes. Um, at first they refused because they were very scared that uh, maybe um, I, I, will, I, will, I won't make balance between uh, the studying and working. Mm. They thought it, it's hard, but I decided to challenge myself and work. Mm. Uh, at first I worked as a supervisor in a studio, fitness studio. Mm. Um, and by time, I learned how to convince a customer mm. for to buy a, a certain package or, mm. or do something, uh, do any action. Mm. At first, I was very shy. I didn't know how to talk. Uh, but then by time, I, I found myself that I'm, they became my friends and became like, they trust what I say, so they buy anything I say. Mm. You shouldn't be friends with her. <laughs> she can buy everything. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Uh, in mm. my second year, uh, I went to uh, uh, Egypt Air Academy to mm. take a public relations uh, course. Uh, it was very useful because they, 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 I learned how to handle an uh, angry customer uh, or any situation I, I, I go mm. through. Uh, Did you want to be a flight attendant? I, I wanted, but I, I have changed my mind. I found myself more passionate and mm. about marketing not it is not an easy job yes it's mm. true yes yeah uh, then in my third year uh, it was COVID-19 mm. I was sitting at home and then I decided that I will make a project you have to sell something yeah you have to make money <laughs> yeah. uh, so I made my online brand oh. with my sisters and my mother for was cl very clothes sorry for clothes no, mm. uh, for curly hair products, mm. in this time it was very uh, trendy, so I decided to make a benefit from this trend. Mm. بالتنسيق مع كافة التيارات السياسية الحزبية والشبابية لإدارة حوار سياسي حول أولويات العمل الوطني عن الحوارات المرحلة المرحلة هذه المرحلة 